Ah, good morning, uh, my YouTube friends. Uh, 36 followers now. I've gained one since the last post. <laughs> it's fantastic. I don't know what what I deserve. It's, it's just amazing. Uh, it's Saturday, 11th of November. Um, 11th of November. Armistice. Yes. Uh, let's not forget them. Uh, being ex-military. Um, it's um, ingrained in you never to forget what um, the... Yes. You're doing. All oh, right. Uh, I haven't looked upon door. I haven't taken a key yet. That's fine. Okay. 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 Do apologise for the interruption. Where was I? Oh yes. Um, let's uh, never forget what um, uh, the old soldiers um, fought and died for. Okay, remember. Anyway, on that, um, on another note, I think we've got a problem. Um, I think we've either got a hornet's nest or a wasp's wasp nest. But it's absolutely massive and it's on, on the top of our cherry tree. Now the missus has, has said wait until the hard frost and then knock it down with a big stick. I'm like hmm is it worth paying the uh, um, local council to get rid of it? I've not looked into the cost at the moment. Or is it advisable to follow the wife's direction? Who knows? Um, here's some footage of it uh, right now. Right, hornet's nest or wasp nest. It's huge. I don't know whether you can see it with that sunlight. Well, that is massive. Any advice? Please. Well, let's get round the other way. It's just massive. And there's still bees or wasps going in and out of it. I think it's a pay for the local authority to get rid of it, personally. What do you think? It's just huge. They're hornets, the size of them. Definitely hornets. Yeah. On other news, um, all I've got to do, well, today is classed as a bank holiday in France, for obvious reasons. They have bank holidays at the weekends as well as weekdays, which is a bit confusing being being from, from the UK. Bank holidays are normally on a work day, but in France they can be at the weekends, as I've said. So uh, it's Sunday hours. So being Sunday hours... I've, I've got a window of opportunity to do the bush cutting, what I've got to do today, bush cutting, uh, between 10.30 and 12.30, I think it is. And that's it. I can't do any more noise. Um, which, okay, I've got to abide by the law of the land, but it just frustrates me. Let's put it that way. So uh, I better crack on. Uh, catch you later. That's it. 
time to start. On. Yeah, cheap bloody Chinese blades. Right, so that's down by the pond done. We're in the orchard at the moment. Still a lot of work. All I've got to do is just uh, go over where I went, uh, where I cut back the other day, just to see if there's any uh, tough ones coming out where they shouldn't be. Still can't get over that hornet's nest. I can see it from here. It's just like the dome of a bloody church. Yeah. Beautiful day though. 12 degrees centigrade. I'm sorry I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Is it double it and add 30? Something like that. What a beautiful day. Right, what time is it? 11.16. I have three quarters of an hour to finish the noisy stuff. 
and then uh, no more noisy stuff today and the same on Sunday tomorrow because yeah you know what bank holidays are like anyway let's crack on Why won't this start? Bloody finger trouble, that's what it is. That's it, enough for today. Ugh. Yeah, I should wear a mask, but I've got safety glasses on. One thing I have noticed, got loads of fungi around. I mean, look at, can you see that? Is that edible? It's amazing. Oh, where did that come from? Probably Una. Too much work. Right, I'm going to start bagging up. <sighs> 